Hello, I'm Ryan, and in this video, I'm going to give you my six tips to lower your piano game. Let's get to it. Tip number one, always practice your music from beginning to end. No matter what knowledgeable pianists and teachers may tell you, do not practice in small sections. Start at the beginning of your piece and do not stop until you reach the end. Don't stop to work on specific spots. Don't practice in sections. Don't. Tip number two, play as fast as you can at all times. I'm sick of people telling you to practice slow. All these people tell you to play at a speed that you can manage and control and make as few mistakes as possible. <laughs> but forget that. Piano playing is about playing as fast as you possibly can at all times. If you make lots of mistakes, pff, those mistakes will just disappear at some point. Tip number three, play with no emotion and don't make music. Music is about expressing yourself. <laughs> no, 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 no. Piano is about pressing these buttons as fast as you can and nothing else. Tip number four, practice mindlessly. When you are practicing, do not think about how you can improve finger motions, hand motions, arm motions, and the musical details. There's no need to pay attention to what you're doing. Just go on your phone or something while you work those fingers. Tip number five, never listen to your playing. People say that piano playing is 90% listening and 10% technique. No, that is wrong. Listening to your playing has nothing to do with being a good musician. While you practice, just listen to the Trash Taste podcast or something. Tip number six, never pay attention to musical details and ignore all markings in the sheet music. Come on, let's face it, those composers had no idea what they were doing. All those markings they put into their scores are just random squiggles that they probably put there in a drunken state. And they don't mean anything, so you can just ignore them all. I mean, come on, what is all this? We don't need any of this, Claude. Well, these are my six tips for lowering your piano game. I hope you found these helpful. And if they did in fact help you lower your piano game, leave a comment below. I'll see you in the next one.